beautiful friends. I am at work. It is day 22 of Vlogmas. I am just filling stockings for my little student helpers. Uh, today was a crazy morning. I apparently did not have enough coffee before I left the house because I am sitting there fighting my door trying to get out to get to my car when I realized I had not undone the, the deadbolt. So I'm trying to lock, open a door that is still locked. Five minutes it took me to realize that the deadbolt was still on, in. Oh, it's gonna be a heck of a last day, but it's vacation time at 2.30, vacation time at 2.30. Anywho, I will try and check in with you guys later. beautiful friends. It is the evening of Vlogmas day 22. I just got home from having dinner with my family. My parents came down to Baltimore already so they're here. I was a little surprised when I walked into my sister's house <laughs> because I was not expecting them to come down till possibly tomorrow. So anyway it was very nice to have my parents here. We had a lovely dinner and tomorrow it's going to be freaking freezing down here. Uh, our low is supposed to go to eight. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's cold. So anywho, let's get started on our advents. So we're going to start off with um, Super Fine Yarn Co. This beautiful, beautiful, lush color. And then we have the Dragon Horde Yarn Collaboration with Yarn Cafe Creations. And this one is called... Cursed Necklace. And then we have day 22 of Mary Grinchmas from Polka Dot Creek and the collaboration between 25 Canadian indie dyers. And this one says, Grinch, don't steal my vibe. <laughs> I don't know who came up with the sayings for the tops of these boxes, but they're hysterical, some of them. This is from Mary Margaret Flores, and it, that's the dyer, and the colorway is called Grinchmas. So pretty. Okay. Tonight's wine is Baronessa de Villa Ruby Porto. And if this is a wine from Portugal. Portugal. 
It says, our family has been making the finest quality port since 1715, with 15 consecutive generations of wine producers passing on their knowledge <clears throat> and traditions. The Baronessa of Villar was our maternal grandmother, and this port captures some of her elegance and strength. Baronessa de Villar Ruby Port displays intense aromas of red berry fruits with hints of violet and spice. Ready to drink, it can be enjoyed in the afternoon, lightly chilled, served with an aperita. No idea what that last word was. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it definitely smells strong. It is definitely a deep, deep red with a hint of brown. And then tonight's chocolate is a white chocolate ganache bliss. Mm. Sounds yummy. So let's try the wine first. Mm. Ooh. That has a very interesting taste. It is not dry. I don't like that one. I don't like that one at all. I need water. Anyway, let's move on to the chocolate. Mm. Mm. That was good. So today was the last day of work. I am officially on winter break. Tomorrow, I still have to get up early. I have to drive my friend Carol to one of her doctor's appointments. She unfortunately found out today, Carol's um, my friend that's um, battling lung cancer. She found out the unfortunate news that she is not a candidate for the, um, the new, oh, oh, I can't think of what it is. It's D it's a D it's a new way to battle cancer where they sequence the DNA of the cancer to try and figure out what is different and attack that difference with medication. I think I'm explaining that correctly. But anywho, unfortunately, she is not a candidate for it, and she will be beginning chemotherapy next week. So she's got a long road ahead of her. She's got four months of chemotherapy ahead of her. Um, we still don't have the results yet, um, whether the targeted radiation on her hip has um, done any good. So we're all crossing our fingers at this point. And then after that, I am probably going to just hunker down in my house. Because did I mention it is only supposed to be 8 degrees tomorrow? So I probably will not be wanting to drive around once the temperature drops. I have to admit that this, the, 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 the accident that I had two months ago really, um, really did shake me up. It was the first time I had been in such a bad accident. I, I've had, um, you know, scrapes when I was younger, when I was first learning to drive, none of which were my fault, but this one ha has me a little shaken. So I don't think I'm going to be tempting fate tomorrow with the cold chills coming in and the wet roads that we have currently. 
So, I will be finishing up my Christmas presents. My two round pillars are almost complete. I am still crossing my fingers that the yarn I had to order for my niece uh, Maya's reading pillow is going to come in tomorrow. Because as long as it comes in tomorrow, I can finish her pillow by Sunday. That's not a problem. Um, I will be closing out this episode with the chamber choir that came caroling through our school today. I unfortunately do have to put a effect over it to mask the uh, students' faces, but you will still hear their beautiful voices. And it almost, <clears throat> they came rather late. They, they always come the last period of the day. They, they, they tour the building and they do their caroling. And they always come to the media center. They always come to my area every year. I usually get a full song or two, which I just, that's my highlight, is my favorite, ultimate favorite tradition that we have at my school. And when it was getting close to 2.15 and we didn't hear them in the hallways, I was getting ready to strike that choral instructor off my uh, nice list and put him on my naughty list for not coming by, but he saved himself. He's back on the nice list. He knows that if he disappoints me, he doesn't get his posters made. <laughs> so we got lovely, lovely serenades from our students today. And I will be sharing that with you because that is, like I said, my ultimate favorite thing that happens at my school every year. And on that note, if you are anywhere anywhere in this storm cold blast that's heading our way i i sincerely sincerely hope that you are staying warm that you are staying safe that you have precautions that you have taken precaution measures should electricity or something go out in your area i hope you have all the extra blankets that you'll need this is, this is going to be a bad one, and I am putting out all the good juju that I can for you guys that are, that are going to be affected by it, especially those of you that are in the Midwest and the North, the Northeast, where you're the Buffalo area where they're expected to get, I think, two and possibly three feet of snow. I, I hope you are all safe. I hope you are checking in. Please, please be checking in with your loved ones if you're in one of the snowy areas. If you have elderly neighbors, please check in on them. I, I hate this time of the year. I love it, but I hate it just for this reason. So please stay safe. Stay home. Cuddle up with your loved ones. And I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.
Ding a ding a ding ding a ding a ding. Dong ding a ding a ding ding a ding ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding 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 dong. Ding a ding 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 a ding 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 a 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 ding ding a